namo buddhaya dear meritorious devotees and my dear children as humans we all have got this life and it is very valuable supreme buddha taught you will be born as a human very rarely you will get this human life as a very rare chance we are on never ending journey of the cycle of this rebirth and it is called the sansara while going on this sansara journey it is very rare one to have a human birth human life so being humans we have the ability and opportunity to do the good and we know the difference between the good and bad as buddhists we are lucky to know about the evil and the wholesome things our great teacher supreme buddha taught us about this supreme buddha taught if you practice the evil side of your mind if you give the space of the evil side of your mind and if you give the majority to the evil side of your mind that evil thing that evil deeds that evil practice will bring you suffering so as humans we have the energy and we have the power to develop the wholesome and the good in our mind so we should know the difference between the good and bad we should study it and we should study about our mind once you know how the mind works you can trick your mind to turn this practice the evil practices to a good practice so among these evil things evil thoughts that pop up in our mind a major evil thought is the pride normally when we are young when we are living in our youth young children are in a sense of pride of their own life of their youth of their health and strength physical strength they are living in a sense of pride so this pride may lead us to do evil things so that is why the majority of young people are not in a not living their life in the correct way supreme buddha taught you should avoid the pride about your youth while you are young you should avoid the pride about your health while while you are healthy you should avoid the pride on your youngness and your life while you are alive so if we are pride if we are being over proud of ourselves that leads to the destruction of your good deeds good qualities so let me tell you a nice story one day a beetle saw a big cow dung and he went inside that cow dung and he was amazed so he asked his friends and with the help of his friends he built a big kingdom in this cow dung but still it was a cow dung but he was very proud of being the king and the founder of this kingdom while he was living there while these things was going on a big and huge elephant went near this cow dung when he was when the elephant was going he saw this cow dung and to avoid stepping on this cow dung he stepped aside of it then the proud beetle was very angry of lifting the elephant's leg upon his head out of pride this beetle challenged this elephant 
he said, how dare you lift your leg upon me? You should ap apologize me. I am a king. Or I will behead you instantly. The elephant heard this and he replied, My dear majesty, I am really, really sorry of being dishonest to you. So I beg your pardon. By saying this, the huge elephant stepped on the cow dung, crushing all the beetles inside it. One act of pride made the destruction of whole beetles. So if you are being pride, if you are being proud of yourself, that leads to sure destruction of your life. That is why Supreme Buddha taught, you should contemplate on your death. Supreme Buddha taught, always remember you are a dying person. You are mortal. If we think we are mortal, then we know that all the things that we gather to our life, all the things that we hold on in our life are impermanent. One day we will have to lose all these things. So if we are going to lose all these things that we gather in our life, then we are permanent holders to all these things, physical matter. So that is why Supreme Buddha taught if you are clinged or if you are craving on something, surely that brings you suffering. So the more we cling, the more we become proud of our wealth, our money, our children, our land, our properties, the more the suffering will come to your life. So be content with what you have. Be happy with what you have. And don't be proud. Always remember, we all are mortal. We, have, we will have to live this life one day. So always practice the good deeds before the death because life is too short. Always be kind, always be compassionate and don't be proud ever. Namo Buddhaya.